Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what time you're watching this, what part of the world you're in. This is Chris again, The Watch Lounge, coming at you with another video. Today's video is really kind of a first impression. It's not really an unboxing per se that uh, most of us would normally do. As you can see, we have uh, updated the studio a little bit. I'll show you guys the new pictures here. Got some uh, new wall decor, some watch goodies back here, of course. Of course, you see that Tito box today. subject. Of course, got to have the uh, random Rob Cup as well. Couple books, so we're starting to get the uh, the studio together, make it look kind of actually like a watch lounge. But um, as stated in today's video, it is the first impressions, my first impressions, rather. Now I have had it for a couple days now um, of the Tissot PRX. Now I know the Tissot PRX has been around for a minute now. It's not the not really. It is kind of a hype piece, I guess per se. But um, this is a great watch so far, first impressions. I'll obviously show you guys a wrist roll in the video and show you guys some of her headshots on, on the table here. But again, um, overall, shout out to Rich over at Saltzman's Watch. This guy, he hooked me up with the deal on this. Um, it, it, if you mentioned that I think he may hook you up with the deal. But for the money overall, you can't really beat the Tiso PRX in my opinion as far as quality. I do definitely have to get a couple links taken off. I'll probably do that tomorrow at work. Um, but it does kind of remind me of a baby 15400, especially for the money. And if you guys know, a while back I had the Maurice Lacroix the Icon. And that was a great watch, especially for the money. And it's it's a little more expensive than this. Now, I would say quality-wise, this is probably definitely better than the Maurice Lacroix. But it, especially for the money with the movement that you get, I will do a full review of it once I'm owning it for a little while. I just want to get more wrist time on it. There, there probably won't be any really huge purchases, per se, for the collection after this because I'm saving for a girl watch now and I do think let me know down, down in the comments what you guys think about this one I do think a perfect Chris watch would be a Royal Oak offshore uh, on rubber of course but um, this is definitely something I've been having my eyes on now so hopefully this time next year we'll see that added to the collection anyways guys we'll show you the watch in question and I'll grab the box show you the box makes it just kind of a first impression this kind of video a little quick little video guys and here is the box for the watch, guys. Again, this is not really unboxing. I'm just kind of showing you guys the packaging that comes with it. Tissot usually has really good packaging. This is uh, no exception. Now, I did back in the day own a Tissot PRX. They are not PRX, excuse me. PRC200, the chronograph, guys. A little slip there. And it had a different box. You can see Tissot here. The symbols, of course, is 1853. They like to, to let everybody know about that. They've been around since 1853. Now, this thing, I feel like it's kind of corny here. This is uh, part of the Tiso factory. I guess it's kind of cool, but it, it, it's kind of corny. I don't know how much you add into the package for that, but, but overall, basic, simple packaging. Overall, pretty nice package, I would say, for especially for the money. And again, these do retail right about $700 or so, 750 And I did get a discount from Rich, guys. Again, you, you may be able to get a discount. Hit them up. Let, let them know I sent you. Uh, but thanks again. Shout out to Rich over at Salzman's for hooking me up. And again, I chose the blue dial. This uh, is definitely a very general Genta-esque uh, kind of vibe. And you can see, I'm not usually a big fan of the butterfly style class, but this one is actually pretty well ex executed. There you can see that at a 2824 movement is the uh, 80 hour power reserve, I do believe, guys. For the money, this finishing, this fit and finishing, definitely kind of has those AP vibes for sure. But for half the part, well, more than half the price, excuse me, like I said, these retail for right around 700 I think, 650 uh, Correct me if I'm wrong down there, guys. You see the date execution, well executed here at the 3 o'clock. And again, it is water resistant to 100 meters. Again, this is not really a review per se. I'll give my full thoughts and opinions on it once I've owned it for a little while. But this is definitely going to get a lot of wear time. I feel like I'm one of the pieces of my collection. One of the nicer pieces I've bought for quite a while. So definitely pretty happy to have it down there uh in the collection guys and again probably not going to be buying anything for a little while now because i'm saving for the ap but uh let me know what you think down in the comments this is what one watch you've thought about adding are you waiting for the chronograph anyways guys we will see you guys in the next one peace